I don't want to die! Silence! Your words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. Where did you steal that from, Gutian? Who did you murder to claim such a pretty thing? I'm no thief. Then you're unique among your kind. Either that, or a liar. No way your people made that. You can't even wash your own asses, much less use a chisel. That belongs to me! In this house you have no rights. All favor is owed to the sons of Naram Sin. The Gutian army. Perhaps you're lucky after all. You get to hear your people scream as they fall before us. I'll kill you, Arcadian! Oh. You will learn who we are. Your king tried to wipe us out. But we still stand! We still stand! You Gutians are a stain on this world. A worthless pack of feral dogs. Too stupid to survive another day. You think so? Looks like you are right. I am a thief. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistakes? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <laughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? 
What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen. Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. My king, would it not be wise to keep the girl alive? She's an enemy scout. We could learn the Gutian's plans. No. Every drop of blood brings us closer to salvation. She must die. <laughs> Give me strength. Oh! <laughs> 
you Arcadian God to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demons. You are wrong. The king sacked the temple at Tukul. He built this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I followed a fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. This is your temple. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? You have no choice. Help me with this. Follow me. There is a way out through the stone. Do? Yes, for the builders when they're done. Come. Just a rat. We're wasting time. We must keep moving. Why did your king create the temple? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory, for greed. Over here.
You first. We're safe down here. You first. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutiam. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? The enemy of my enemy... ...is a friend. We help each other. There is always hope. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. No escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword! Just spare me over till another
ready to descend into the unknown once more? A party is nothing without a host. I will play my part, as I'm sure you will play yours. Shall we begin? As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories, stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. Many minds burning bright with the same idea. Poetic, don't you think? Some choices will bring you closer together, while others push you apart. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. But alas, the sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. For fail. What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? Colonel King has arrived on base, ma'am. He's en route to the briefing room. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. I mean, Rachel, are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. Come on. We should put this on ice. On ice? With just like that? So what, we just, we just stop? Is that how it works? That's exactly how it works. I mean, my husband is here. For crying out loud, Nick, how else do you think it works? From now on, we just, we just have to keep a little distance. Sounds like an order, ma'am. Say no more. I get it.
your courage, your willingness to face danger for your country and for each other made this day possible. Because of you, our nation is more secure. Because of you, the tyrant has fallen and Iraq is free. What is it? Colonel King is waiting for you in the briefing room, ma'am. Inform the colonel that I'm on my way. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. This is my team now. What are you talking about? I have direct orders from CENTCOM to assume command of your task force. Ouch. Are you serious? Have you known me to be any other way? Lieutenant Kolchak, if you'd be so kind. This is from SOC Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? What is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? 
Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. With all due respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. Our birds can fly low under the radar. The site is in the Zagros Mountains, so we'll have plenty of ground cover. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Larisse, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. I have concerns. Well? This team barely know each other, and you're thinking about sending them 500 clicks into bandit country. It's too soon. They're not even remotely close to being ready. If I'm not mistaken, they're Force Recon. It's their job to be ready. We don't have time to rework this. This is what's going to get us home, Rachel. I wish you'd reconsider. No. My decision is final. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Eric. Please, let me finish. Not a day went by when you weren't on my mind, when I didn't want you by my side. I've missed you so much, Rach. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it? Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. 
you're still wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh, shit, sorry. But you got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. packing phosphorus? Isn't that? Yeah, it's restricted. We're cool as long as we use it for smoke. I'm sorry. I know Eric can be a bit by the book, but you can trust him. He's a good man. Don't sweat it, Rachel. Just the chain of command. Let's check this gear again. I knew there was a reason you were tagging along. What does that mean? Someone's gonna have to tie all the pretty little knots and shit. Watch your mouth, Corporal. You're gonna go run into your husband and squeal on me now? I strongly suggest that you show some respect for your superiors. Hey, if CENTCOM wants to put the nerds in charge, oh, who am I to argue? crap for we need to be mobile we need to be prepared the facility is underground possibly under construction it's safer this way you want me to feel safe you give me some more shooters so you're my technician i've heard about you So, I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Come on, Climbing gear. Damn, Rachel. I'm just as pissed as some of these guys. What's up? I've had a shit morning. Yeah, he's, he's ruffled a few feathers, huh? How come you never told me you had a husband? We met back at the academy. And you know the type. Joined at the hip, eyes only for each other. Hand in hand, ready to take on the world. Yeah, that does sound pretty pathetic. After his accident, Eric spent every second working on Kalis. For me, Langley came calling. And life, as it does, had different paths for us. I think it is. Until now, huh? Hey, sir. White phosphorus. Just for 
pop the smoke. These are unauthorized. If we break weapons conventions, then we're just as bad as Saddam. I won't allow them on this mission. This is bullshit. We need all the help we can get. Sergeant K, there seems to be some confusion. That was an order, not a talking point. Loud and clear. Yeah, I am. You think we'll bag him with Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting in the dressing room. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the board. You sure you don't want any support? There's a chance we need it. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this moment? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? My parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a hard ass and he wants us to know it. But I ain't bothered by that. I like it, actually. Guy's a corn cob off his ass. We're heading, believe me. We're gonna need someone tough and controlled. 